the art videos, colouring videos, diamond painting, really diamond painting, but I do pop it in here and there, a couple of uh, vlog videos as well. My name's Debbie as well, and like I said, this is my channel, Colour Me Stress Free. Now, I've been having a couple of messages on Instagram of different people wanting to start a colouring channel. Now, I have tried to help them as best as I can, but obviously there's only so much I can do over text message and voice message. So, I want to show you the start to finish of me actually filming a video from, I'm going to show you the mess that happens, the mess that happens uh, to picking the pages that I need to show in this video. I'm doing my hashtag for this month, which is a little bit late. I think it's the second today. We're on the third. So I'm three days late for this. But nonetheless, I'm sure that I can get a couple of videos on it. I've just realised my light is probably, oh no, it's not. It's not. It's my other light that's here that you can see. I just had it prepped for that other video. There we go. That lighting's a little bit better. Ish. Ish. But like I said, I want to show you from start to finish. So I've picked out what I want to do. So the first thing you need to do is write down ideas. Now, I've only just got this diary. I've literally used it for the first time this morning, so it is more or less blank. But I've wrote video ideas down. Um, because I've done this for quite some time now, I don't need to write the details. I'll look, I'll look at this, like, for instance, Mariola, hashtag Mariola, show finished pages. Whereas when I first started doing um, YouTube, I was literally writing down my ideas and then brainstorming around them ideas to show you... Uh, not sure yet, give myself different things that I could do in the video or things that I could talk about. So that would be my first tip is to write down your ideas, write down your ideas and look at other people's channels as well because it's not, it's not necessarily copying and I get a lot of inspiration off not only colouring channels but art channels and a lot of gaming channels to be honest. The way that they film things, the what they say in the videos, it's it's inspiration you're not copying and if you are let's say someone's created a tag and you're not necessarily tied and you want to do that video then i'd always say to reference the original person that created that tag in your description or say it out loud in the video but yes like i said so i'll show you now so this is my setup here's my camera i can't remember the name of the tripod but i will link the tripod of the camera I can't link my laptop laptop because that was from a local store and I think it's Livona, Lavina, Livona <laughs> uh, brand and I was recommended to buy that one by Colouring Chat with Sammy. She recommended that one because that's what she uses for streaming and that's what's worked perfectly for me. Uh, again, I'll leave a link like my lamp and stuff like that. Anything I can think of that might help you even if I can find the tripod and the light thing that I'm using now, just in case you want to do the more face-to-face -face stuff. So, let me just pop you back there for a minute without you falling over, hands-free, hands-free. So, I've sorted out my work area. Now, I did know last night that I was filming today, so I completely, well, more or less emptied my desk. There's the diary, there's a drink, there's two uh, toothbrushes, <laughs> toothbrushes, <laughs> there's... um brushes and stuff on the table from yesterday but i've got plenty of workspace that's the point i have to keep my phone near me just in case school ring but i've pulled out all of my pages now if i was planning on coloring i don't know pretend that that's not colored well, let's get a page that's not colored this one then make sure you've got all your pencils and everything set out now i say this and i do try my best to do it in all of my videos but um sometimes when you're halfway through something and you forget something you know you can cut and edit but when you're first starting off it is quite uh i don't want to say difficult but it's a learning curve it's definitely a learning curve getting your head around the different editing softwares um i found it on my phone it quite easy it just sort of clicks like that and it's when you usually download a software it shows you step by step what to do now when i downloaded the software from my laptop that was a different story even though it did have the step-by-step -step, um, instructions on there, because there was so much information on one screen, it was like, pfft, and my mind was blown. But eventually I did do it, and I watched YouTube videos to teach myself as well, and I read a lot, 
And I remember the other night, actually, I was sat there editing a longer video and my husband came around and he was just stood behind me watching me. And he said, how did you learn how to do that? Who taught you how to do that? And I said, me, just me, just me with YouTube, of course. <laughs> so I will continue getting set up and then I will record myself recording, which is going to be weird. Yeah, I'll try my best to do that somehow. I'm going to have to move things around, I think. And then once I've done that, and I'm ready to export the footage onto my laptop, I will bring you back. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now today I want to do a video all about Mario the Boudic. Now I want to create a hashtag for March, which I know I'm a couple of days late, I do apologise. But I want to call the hashtag Mariola March. I know, brilliant idea, brilliant idea, but that's what I thought of. So today I want to go through all of my coloured pages by Mariola Boudet, as well as the pages that I need to colour. And then hopefully it gives you some inspiration to maybe, you you know, you want to join in the pages. Now it's not just for Instagram, if you've not got Instagram, because I know that not everybody's got it. I will always leave my email address down below in the description for you to email me the pictures and at the end of the month i will either do a video but i did the same in the kirby page where i went over each of the pages or i'll just do a slideshow depending what everybody wants and depending on timing so let's get started so as you saw that i tend to do it in little snippets i mean if i'm doing a more chatty video i know you can't properly see me though if I'm doing more of a chatty video, then I, I won't really cut as much, depending, like, if I'm sat there 15 minutes talking, I will cut and then take a drink and probably use my e-cigarette. Um, but, yeah, I'll change you to a different angle and then you can actually see the camera. I'm hoping that I can pull this off. We, we shall see. So, this is the angle that I'm working at, so I can't actually see... When I press record, you'll see in a minute, I can't see that. So sometimes when you hear my chair creak, it's because I'm leaning back trying to see the record. Because if, just a warning, and this will happen, you'll think you're recording and it turns out brilliant and it doesn't record or the footage gets corrupted. So I just need to move some of these pages. They're my pages that I need to finish. I know that you can only see a little bit here. But... Yeah, let's start. I'll start with the, the boot that I made as well as the one that I bought. And I did I did buy this myself, but I'll talk about it more now. Let's have I've got a prompt cover. I didn't even make a prompt cover for this. Oh see so yeah, if I buy my own boots now, bind. I said that sounded like buy then. If I bind my own boots, then I like to make a front cover. But this is me pressing record. And as you can see the the little icon, I can't see that sat down. But actually, I can see it better now that well, I can't use two phones to record, uh, two phones. I can't use a phone and a camera to record. Anyway, so here are my pages that I have completed. Now, technically I have and technically I haven't because this is the set of art, the first set of art that Mariola brought out. And then at the time, the all the PDFs that I had, I bound into one book. Now, I've just been saying that um, now when I bind books, I make a nice front cover for them and I didn't with this I just used the it was like an extra piece of art that she sent that was signed that obviously I'm not gonna chuck away and I've made that the front cover which I'm kicking myself now I wish I'd made a nice front cover but there is quite a few finished in here I'll just flip through the whole thing and then you're seeing what I haven't done now this is one book that I would like to finish um, this one was pan pastel now I'm not used pan pastels in a long time I sort of go through phases of loving certain things. I mean, watercolour has seemed to have stuck around now for about a year or so. So I think that's going to be sticking around for the for the foreseeable future. But uh, when, when I first started doing uh, YouTube videos, if I saw somebody have something that I wanted to try, I wanted to try the whole thing, <laughs> the whole range of them. So yeah, that's what I did. But I've got them now to use in the future. I did this one. So this was a PDF. Now, I know that I've finished this picture and it's at the back here. But the spur picture that I printed out in a lighter tone 
I put in this book. Again, I actually scanned this image myself. I've got a second one, I think, at the back that I've actually completed. So I scanned this in and then printed it out for a second time to pop in this book. And I've got another one as well. So apparently I love that page, the steampunk page, apparently. We have the dragon page, which I do actually really like the actual colouring. I'm not too keen on that background. That is alcohol markers. Now, if I'd have known about my trick, I could probably go back and do this, actually. With the blender solution, I would have done that back then. Uh, distress ink in the background. This is a whip. It's not finished. It's still got a tag in at the top. I've got so little to do on this. Why I've not come back and finished it, I don't know. I've even started the shading on the face. So it's very minimal work left to do on the face. And then just shading these. I think I stopped because I didn't like how the purple was turning out. And I just stopped. Which is silly of me. Now I know I've finished this page as well. I think this is at the back of the book. Another whip. So I just did her. Nothing else. Oh, I did the background. I tell a lie. I did a background. So that's protecting that page. Uh, the wolf. I remember, I think there was three or four of us. As soon as a PDF came out, it was like, we've got to have it. We've got to have it now. And then coloured it instantly. Instantly, within a couple of days of it being released. And this was one of them. Uh, this actually was printed on... I don't think it's called craft paper, it's like recyclable paper. Now, I swapped this with Kirsta from Kirsta Colouring Sketch. She got the, the tan-toned recyclable paper version and I got the white. And we switched a couple of images and I love this paper. I wish I'd have got the whole book in this paper. I love it, I love the feeling of it, I love working on it and the outcome, everything. Everything. If I do purchase another one of her boots, if it's in this, then I'd just buy this. I wouldn't buy the, um, the white one because I can print that off at home. Another lovely one. I do really like this one, actually. I like how I've done the hair. Very pretty. And the dog one as well. That's just adorable, isn't it? Because there's a puppy on there. So cute. Uh, this one. I based this off my sister's natural hair colour. And I remember sending her a picture of this. I'm really proud of that one. I really like that one. Uh, another one with just pan pastels, I believe. I can tell by the shading and stuff here. But I did try. I did try. And glossy accents on the eyes. Uh, a page that I need to finish. I need to finish. I have done a lot of work. This is another one on that paper that I love. And another one there, which that one's a bit of a disaster. But I do love how this one turned out. Uh, yeah, this one, I can't remember what pencils that I used. I used a certain type of pencils and it did not like the paper one bit. And it was a shame. It was a shame. Because it's a really nice picture that. Another one that I need to complete. Another one, I finished this one. I don't like the background. I think it's very, very patchy indeed. I don't like that one. Uh, the furry one. All done in uh, Faber-Castell. Albert Dürer is this one. And no background, which is weird for me. Really enjoyed doing this one and a spat like a spattle effect, like a paint just going like that. Really, really fun. Uh, another whip. All that is luminance. I remember doing that. And then all the rest of it is the Albert Durers again. So this is the her one that I said I knew that I completed. And it came on that uh ten tone paper again. Love that one. Another one I need to complete. There's quite a few, unfortunately. I thought I'd done more. But these are separate now. These are PDFs. So you've seen that I've completed that one. I've not done this one yet. I've not done this one. That one daunts me a little bit with all the fur on the horse. That one. We did the princess. Again, separate PDF. Love how she turned out. I think she's beautiful. And then the last one was a dud that I do need to come back to and fix all based in alcohol markers and distress ink for the background so let's move on to the single pds that i've not put in a book so that was like the perfect time let me turn the camera around hello that was the perfect time for me to stop recording just i can get a drink if i need to i've got a couple of messages on my phone that i need to reply to um but yeah, that's the way that I record. So I'll bring you back when I'm in the process of moving all the footage over. So I've just finished filming that video. Hopefully I got the footage all right for you. 
Now I've just popped my laptop on. Uh, I will turn you around in a minute. Um, one thing that I did forget to say then, and it reminded me because I was doing it, is if you're using a laptop to edit, make sure you get a good thumbnail. So either at the end or the start of the video, make sure your camera has got a decent view of what you're doing and you want to use that as, a, as a, a thumbnail to pull it off. Otherwise, if you're using your phone, then don't tidy everything up. Remember to do that uh, thumbnail. The amount of times that I've done like finished pages, and then I've put my boots away and then I've started editing. This was on my phone or even on my laptop. I've done it very recently and I forgot to take a picture of all my boots. <laughs> then I have to either take everything back out and do that again or make shift some sort of uh, thumbnail that will do. So I will switch the camera around now so you can see better what I'm doing on the laptop. So I hope that you can see a little bit better. Don't mind paint splatter all over my tripod. If you're doing that, it's going to happen. I didn't mention as well the, the camera that I use is the Canon M5, M5 I do believe. Uh, so just plug it all in. I've got my software all ready to go in the background. Which way are you going in? So I'll just plug it in there just like so. Now this wire is very, very, very temperamental. So I've, you just switch it on and it starts blinking up to the computer now. I'm gonna to have to move that for now. These are footages that I need to edit as well in the background. There's a lovely picture of Isabel. <laughs> uh, so we've got download images to computer. I'm gonna download everything that's on there because I did actually clean off the footage on the camera before I started uh, recording. Because I've, again, I've done that before and then re-downloaded everything that was on there, sat here for a long, long time it feels like to then realise that things have um, double downloaded. So I will come back when this is finished. This will probably take anything from 10 minutes to half an hour, depending how long the actual footage is. And then I need to pull it from that folder that it will create in a minute. I'll either put it in a separate folder or I will just drag it straight into my Filmora software. So there we go. I'm hoping that's a better angle. I can slightly move this now. It's so temperamental, this wire. So I can turn this off now because it's finished transferring. So now here are all my videos are here and then the two pictures that I took for my thumbnail. Whether I use them or not, I don't know. Once I've got into the software and I've finished editing the video, then I will decide. I tend to do the video for... I thought I weren't recording then. See what I mean? You need to always check if you're recording. <laughs> you see, did you hear the huff in my voice? As if it's say, for God's sake, for God's sake. So yeah, just check that you're recording. Don't do me. Don't do me. So, let it all kick up and do its thing. Yes, I know that there's a free upgrade. I'll do it later. I keep saying I'll do it later, then it doesn't happen. So I'm gonna pull, I'm doing it too quick. So I've just pulled up the software from my camera and I'm gonna pull all of these over. I'm not making a separate um, folder. When I tend to do vlogs and stuff, I will do a separate folder because it takes me a long, long time to actually edit them videos. So if I put it in a separate folder, then I'm not getting confused. So I can exit this off now because you know, it's already there. And it's, do it's done this a couple of times. It says we've in incurred a an error, which I'm not too fussed about because when that happens sometimes it's with the pictures that I've just took I need to change the settings on my camera um, I can email them across to myself and do it like that and fix it like that or I can pick a thumbnail from one of these so into my folders not my downloads they're all the music and stuff that I use uh, I've got YouTube here we go my YouTube intro and whatnot so I want my green play button just pull that over my watermark, my end screen, my Instagram was signed, uh, my music that I use that is copyrighted, but I have to put, uh, well, it says free copyright, but I have to put that it's somebody else's um, song and I didn't make it and all the information in the description and then I don't get copyrighted. So that's another thing to take into account. You, you need to remember to do that if you are using that sort of music. I mean, if you make your own, then it's fine. My uh, phone one, uh, and I think that's it. I change it up sometimes for what I use. I've got like little subscribe buttons, big ones, different transitions. I just, you know, change it up for whatever, 
whatever I fancy. Let me check if I put my intro in. I certainly did. So let's start off with the intro. I know that the camera looks a bit skewy there, but that's the best that I can get. So let's pull this intro down. I always use the same settings. I want my music. And then when my music, I want to start off at, you know, as the music gets started, which is here, this is like the start point. If I press play, if I go back a bit. If I did it at the start, that would be the music and I like it to be the, that's, that's the bit that I like. So I cut it, delete this portion, which usually I would use the keyboard to make it a bit quicker, but obviously you can't see the keyboard. I'll pull this across ever so slightly and cut this part out because I don't need it. And then we want to double click on the volume. I want to fade the music in so it's not as soon as you click on the video, it's boom, so sound of music. I want to fade it in and I also want to fade it out. But can you see where that dial is moving? So I'm fading it till about here. So it fades out quite nicely. Now, here's where we add the footage. Now, luckily what my uh, camera does, it does actually number it for me. So I'm starting at 30, 13 on this one. Drag that over. Now, because the way that I've got my tripod, it records upside down, you see? So I do have to use a couple of keys here just to turn the footage around and I have to do that with every single clip. Now, if I go to the very start of the video, you'll not hear me talking. Hear the music and me getting sort of set up. And I can see here, I'm going to pull the volume up, but I can see where I start talking. So I need to pull it just before then, cut that part of the footage out. And then if I do a nice transition, what transition should we do today? I've got favourites that I just tend to use over and over again. Let's go with, I like this new YouTube one, but I don't fancy that today actually. Let's go with the cinematic digital slide. So I press play. Here's what it's gonna look like. Hi everyone and welcome back. To and because my laptop is uber slow, it's on full at the minute, the quality of what the finished product is going to be. So I always change it to a quarter. So it's going to look not as good on here, but the end product will look good once it's been exported. So let's go back to the beginning and it shouldn't skip. Hi everyone. So a nice transition. Nice transition from the, the intro into the start of the video and the music fading out. So I'll just play that again. Mario the so the, at that point you can't hear the music anymore so this is what I always do because I just find it easy and I'm lazy I tend to add the footage like this so that's that footage turn the volume up so it's matching the rest I then need to flip the image and check whereabouts it is in the next clip where I started talking Record. and as you can see the the little icon. So you can hear me talking to you. So you, that's the past. So we need I to get to the bit that we're up to. But actually, I can see it better now. That I can't use two phones to record. <laughs> two phones. I can't use a phone and a camera. And just a little side note, I used to sort of cringe at myself listening to myself talk on camera. Now it doesn't even bother me. Now, here, can you see that there's a dip? There's a dip in the volume. So I think that's where I've paused and started talking about what I want to carry on talking about in the video. So, yep, there it is. So if I cut, delete, or cut, and then I need to do a smooth transition from here to here. Now I can do one of the fancy transitions like I just did for the start, but I'll just do a dissolve, just make it simple. Sometimes you can't even notice that I've done a transition, which is what I like most of the time. Let's get started. So, so here are my pages there you go. that have That's your transition. Technically I have technical. Uber easy. It's one of them things that once you know how to do it, it's like riding a bike, it's easy. Same thing, next clip, turn the volume up. We wanna turn the clip around. Now I use, is it CTRL, I don't know what you call that, and alter and then just either left or right on the arrows on the keyboard for this part. 
I keep looking at my phone thinking, is it recording? Because it's in a different area. <laughs> so let's check this bit. Also, the PDF, so not in a book. So I more or less started from the beginning. So I'll do the same transition. Not worrying about cutting this time. So let's check it. So now we move on to the PDF, so not... Perfect. So let's move to the end. I think, do we have one more maybe? Oh, we've got two more. So this part, I did actually, I do need to split it and I'll show you how I do that. So let me flip it, turn the volume up. Because I did this last night and managed. So I did it more or less from the start. So I need to completely just do a transition there, just a normal transition. Let's check it. Be right back. So I've just pulled out my audio. Actually. We will do a page turn. So let's change that to a page turn and let's go on to our audio. I've got favourites. Stop reminding me about that. Stop reminding me. Load later. <laughs> I need my page turn. So this will pop there. I hope that I'm explaining this because I know sometimes that I struggle to right explain it. So there you go. So your sound is here, your new transition is here and it transitions to turning a page in a book. Be right back. There you go. So I've just pulled out my ohu I just want to skip through this now and let me turn it down because there's a bit in the video that I say I will show you the picture on my wall. Okay. Am I going to be able to find it? There's a dip in the volume. I do remember I paused to sort of give myself, is it here? Let's check. Right, so I need to split this. Split. I'm just going to move this up for now just to get it out of the way. And then I'm going to pop the little segment that I did of the, of the wall picture that I did. Add these two back together. Add my transitions to both of these areas. Make sure the volume's turned up on that middle one and let's check it. This was from last month. I absolutely adore her, that's why I've changed it up. But I've got We shall see. So we get to the end of the video and I want to add my end plate, which is just here, so pull and drag. And I want to pull it out and I usually have it at about 19 seconds. Now the reason that I have it at 19 seconds is because at the end of all my videos, other videos pop up, so it gives people enough time to ch you know, choose what uh, video they wanna watch next, if any. So we'll go on to my transitions. I'm gonna go on the original one that I used at the start of the video, the cinematic one, add that to the end. So I won't add the bit where I'm adding it to YouTube because there's a couple of things on there that obviously I don't wanna show. Um, but it is just a case of clicking it from that folder and popping it onto YouTube and then adding your tags, like your hashtags, um, uh, your name for it. You're adding your other videos that you want to add to the end of the videos. That'll probably take me about half an hour once this is finished uh, uploading. But I'm currently filming this and then just finished filming that and then I'm filming a vlog. I'm like, <laughs> But if this video did help you out in some way, because like I said, when I first started, especially on her, especially on using a laptop, I found it so complicated. But now that I've got my head around it, it's not too bad. But if this video did help you out in any way, then please do leave me a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.